Welcome back to the Rick and Bubba Broadcast <laughs> Plaza and Telephone. <laughs> He's loaded like a peg of cow. <laughs> Comedian, <laughs> motivational speaker, <laughs> singer, songwriter, father, powder. lover, father, <laughs> husband, <laughs> brother. Don't even say my name until I have a chance to say Lenora. That sweater's gorgeous, girl. <laughs> you still hold the Christmas spirit. May God bless you and your family, girl. <laughs> John Morgan. Lenora looking righteous in a blue sweater. Yeah. We've got the Christmas scene on it. Yep. Beautiful woman. That's right. A minute ago, I saw Rudolph leading Santa right across. Did you see? Yeah, I did. <laughs> the little red light. Just... <laughs> John, what did you bring us? I brought you some uh, some 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 things from your kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> I know y'all don't get out much. I brought some red pepper jelly because I don't eat it, and it came to me in the gift box. Right. Uh, and some bread, some whole wheat bread because I'm worried about y'all health. Yeah. Some Twizzlers because, you know, you got to have a little sweet. Right. And then I got you some sunglass holers. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah. you, John. Because, yes, you know, it's the Christmas spe- spirit. It's the Christmas season. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. And how proud we ought to say Merry Christmas, you know? I know. I'm tired of people telling us we can't say what we want to say, you know? And I, I really don't care. Merry Christmas. It's the life of Christ that we celebrate on Amen. Christmas. So let's be real about it, you know? Uh, what about uh, what about the children? Go update us on them. What's their age? Everybody's doing good. You know, everybody's doing good. I know what the boys want. Not really sure what the daughter wants. You know, she's Chinese, you know. Right. Really can't read her face. You know, it's flatline. Uh, you, you, uh, you know, you, you, you know, she, uh, you know, you know. Uh, uh, watch the Chinese. I never spank her. I never spank her. They, they, uh, you know, you spank her, it break your heart, you know. Because yeah. when she cried, the water just fall out. They don't have bottom island. You see? And, um, but I love her. And I got a call from, I had to go to school. I had to go to school, Speedy. He had to go to school because they called me about the daughter, right? They, about what did she do? You expected yeah. about the sons. Exactly. You, you expected. No, so they rolled me in, my dear people. They rolled me in, and uh, and they said, Mr. Moore, we need to talk to you about your daughter. And I said, okay, well, seriously, seriously. And um, <laughs> uh, underneath there was choice words, but I held back because I knew where I was. And um, so they said, you know, it's nothing bad. We need to test your daughter for the gifted program. Oh, wow. Oh, well, then I took a deep breath, and I said, well, you know, seriously, did you have to call me in for this, you know? And they said, well, you know, most parents are really happy. And I said, yeah, great, do what you got to do. And they said, you know, seriously, most parents are happy. I said, she's Chinese, man. We expected it. <laughs> <laughs> Now you tell me you're going to test one of them boys. I do flips all through this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I brought them into the world. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and just, you know, it, it, one thing unfolds another. But but I'm loving the kids, and, and, and life in Louisiana is doing okay. You know, we're trying to bounce back from that oil spill. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and, and let me be so clear as to say this clear, too. If George Bush don't like black people, I can promise you Obama don't like Cajuns. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> lay that roll that on the line right there. <laughs> <laughs> Come down there for his pictorial in khaki pants and loafers. <laughs> kind of oil you gonna help dig up? <laughs> All I wanted him to do was just kind of lean over one of them big ears and scoop up about eighty gallons. <laughs> Can't do nothing in there. You know what I'm saying? Can't do nothing with no khakis on. No. Over there trying to say, oh look, look at this. Pick up a little sand. Seriously. Got to knock it off, but, you know, whatever, man, whatever. <laughs> Hurricanes are coming. Hurricanes, we still ain't worried about it. Never had a hurricane hit us, thank you, Lord. You know, thank you, Lord. But you ain't never going to have people run away from hurricanes in New Orleans, you know what I mean? As long as they keep naming them after white sorority girls, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Katrina and Cindy, who afraid of that? You, you name the next hurricane Shaniqua, ain't going to be a single person in New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't going to be You got to think it through. Look at this cat here laughing. Where you got your teeth from? <laughs> Thing that pearly white, what you crest white strip dogs? <laughs> How about that one there, man? <laughs> y'all pull young people in here just so y'all feel good. <laughs> I never seen. How long you been in this organization, son? One year. One year. Well, you ain't gonna last long. I can promise you that. <laughs> <laughs> I've always noticed the moment they pull somebody in here look better looking than them, you're about a year and a half. Right? <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, this is the best suggestion you're ever going to hear. By February, start looking for something. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason why they kept him because he's family. They can't find him. That's <laughs> it. Mama won't let him. <laughs> Mama won't let him go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you call up mama and say, I'm thinking about firing Greg. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, you stay. Yes, yeah. yeah, ma'am. I was, I, it was a joke, mama. Had, uh, okay, yeah. bye, bear, girl. Right. Well, you and my brother should relate because he knows how it feels, too, to have his brother tell him what to do. Really? Oh. <laughs> yeah. is, that, oh, is that true? I can't believe you. Yeah, where where did you? Where John, did you John, I'm sorry, Rick. Me and my brother Did y'all work it out? 
<laughs> yeah, we worked it out. You know, after the parents are all gone, you know, mm. your family had to look and evaluate each other. Right. Because and I love my brother. Right. Yeah. I love my brother. Great Steve. man. He's, He's in charge now? No. Well, he was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. Uh, Two years later, we're still settling the estate. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> right. Oh, no. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then their mama passed away, and uh, bless mm. her heart. You yeah. know, she was, she was done on in with Alzheimer's, you know. And, oh, yeah. And you, Alzheimer's is a horrible disease, you know, oh, but you can yeah. either have fun with it or you can let it ruin your life. You see what I'm saying? Right. And I'm a comic, so you know what road I drove. <laughs> you know? right. And, um, and you, we used to, she used to go to the bathroom, we rearrange the furniture. You know? <laughs> John Morgan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. That was the only time she ever come alive. <laughs> <laughs> we had to finally put up a fence because she was getting out, you know. You're all right. And uh, you know, you you, you, you know, people are like that's a shame. But but I'm serious, Speedy. Look at me now. I'm serious. And uh, but it wasn't a real fence. My brother dug the hole and I put the wire in the ground. Right. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we beat dazzled her collar. It was nice. You know? right, right. <laughs> Ain't nothing like an 82 year old woman trying to run for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, lo I love her to death. I mean, <laughs> Who gave him the caffeine? No, I, don't, <laughs> yeah, we, I don't even drink coffee. <laughs> 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 because if he did, he would explode. <laughs> yeah, he would. He'd be like a hummingbird. His wings just fly off. I went in there a minute ago. The microwave said John made him tired. <laughs> I tried to bring the microwave in here. I couldn't fit it under my coat. <laughs> <laughs> you got that bread, though. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. John Let's Morgan. Radio right there. <laughs> <laughs> John Morgan, Comedy Club Stardome. Standing ovations every night. Yeah, it, it's a clean show.